a big part of traditional wood boat building is sourcing materials. Uh, it's harder and harder to find good quality wood uh, that's suitable for uh, for marine construction. And for that reason, you know, in the predicament that you need to start the process really early because in a modern world, most materials are kiln dried, uh, which isn't suitable for boat building. Uh, we want the planks to re-swell when they go back into the water. Uh, and if we shrink them uh, too quickly under the forces of a kiln, it'll collapse the cells and they won't really swell back up the way that we want. Behind me here, this is actually all of the, all of the fasteners for both the futtocks uh, to make the frames and all of the planks to the frames is all pegs or tree nails and a lot of that stock we mill up and we have seasoning in this little solar kiln right here you know it's something that you never really think about is like what trajectory you actually are at so if the equator is the closest part of the earth as we're spinning around to the sun well you know what angle to put something out to catch the most light you know you always kind of think of things as a little flat where you just like oh lay it out flat that'll hit it but actually this 38.7 degrees because we're at latitude 38.7 and what this does is it's still an air drying technique so we're not collapsing the cells too quickly but it's speeding the process up a little bit in uh, the critical components like uh, the trunnels where we want them really, really dry so when they go into the wood, they'll swell up and everything will stay tight.